And well good evening, happy Halloween, I'm Randy Mandy and this is not the news. And again I tell you, that fucking Anthony can't take a shite without broadcasting it for fuck's sake. All about the new sombrero, here's Morgan Freeman for Black Donnelly Media. Hi, I'm Morgan Freeman. Well, actually, no, I'm Anthony playing Morgan Freeman. <laughs> for some fucked up reason, I always insist or end up going and playing some other fool. I think it stems from a long lifeline of either taking the piss, trying to be somebody else, or I mean, let's face it, everybody got a little bit of a cute multiple personality disorder. Not a two-faced gun. Don't get it mixed up with a two-faced gun. Multiple personality disorder. But I can tell you, you can rest your mind at ease. I'm getting better. And that's coming from the three of us. <laughs> so it was the other day. I was in the Salvation Army, the good folk down there, doing good work, getting money for, you know, for less forcing and stuff like that, especially around this time of year. So if you do have a little bit of time, go on in and see them, then they're the nice folk. Well, well, well. I'm always finding gems in there. This time, I found myself a beautiful orange sombrero. Now, when I had seen this sombrero, I couldn't make out what to do, what it was, where it was from. I thought to myself, my God, <laughs> if Andy could see this now, such a spectacle orange sweater, not like the usual kind, you see. <laughs> might see you get, might get a little bit of attention. But when you get to my age, you get used to that. Then I thought to wonder, where did it possibly come from? Who was actually wearing the sweater? Because it's a little bit funky. A little tad on the fucked up side. <laughs> but you know me. Always charming, always a fool, and always dapper down. But I can assure you one thing. The mind certainly did wonder. My orange sombrero. Maybe they came from a rock and roll folk band from the Dirty Hippies down in Hayden Asbury. You know the ones, the counterculture that tried to fight against the U.S. government and tried to make a change. God damn it, I wish them kids were successful. You and I both know this world would be a fucking better place. And who am I to judge? I done a little bit of LSD back in the day. My orange Sombrero. But then I thought to myself, well, wait a minute. This may might very well be owned by one of them white rappers from Manchester, like the Stereo MCs or some shit. Now, Manchester, I've been there. Have you ever been there? Now, there is a city that's divided by the great game of football. They have been in conflict and rivalry since the dawning of the game. Oh, except for that, I don't know, maybe 12 or so years when the entire city was bombed on the ecstasy. <laughs> Man, oh man, everybody's got a little sweet story to tell if they've ever graced the presence over there in Manchester. <laughs> and at that specific very time, well, let's just say in the city of Manchester, every one of them crazy motherfuckers was getting along very well indeed. Especially around that time, I can remember the one holiday when I was over in Glasgow visiting my boots. Dwindled all the way down to the city of Manchester, went to the Hacienda, and let me... Oh, um, we'll leave that story for another time. That's more of a, you fucking have to be there kind of story. But Andy knows. My orange Sombrero. But it was then that the notion crossed my mind quite a few times, several times, actually. I'm sure you can agree on this one with me. You know that this sombrero definitely was worn by some kind of draft-dodging, dirty fucking hippie. <laughs> I mean, something like the Mamas and Papa. No, probably like Ian Anderson from uh, the Jethro Tull. And let me tell you a little something about him as well. I always thought he was dirty, a uh, dope-smoking, LSD-taking hippie. But it turns out... He's quite a bright gentleman. Apparently, Mr. Anderson hung up the toe rings and the totes for something brighter. He went and got himself a big old huge salmon farm. He farms the salmon all the way up there. In the north coast of Scotland, so he does as well. He makes quite a pretty penny, doing it? <laughs> Good Lord, sometimes I scratch my head when I think of the money that me and Andy could have made poaching them salmon. He would have liked that. My orange Sombrero. But it was then that I got to thinking about long time ago, when I was a wee boy. I used to sit up late at night with my granddad Duggan, watching them cowboy movies, those old spaghetti westerns. Surely to God, a fucking cowboy must have been wearing this sombrero. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But mind you, looking at our Anthony, he looks like something somebody would have turned up in for the interview to get into the goddamn village people. <laughs> I've often wondered about that boy. Something tells me for some reason, I don't think Andy would like him. Or
But it was then that it definitely dawned on me, so it did. Surely to God it must have been Moses of the dance floor of thy boogie juju with the commandments of thy house music that must have worn this sombrero. Everybody can see that one. And my God, I've seen it all now. The life and times of who wore the goddamn sombrero. But there is a message behind the sombrero. Sometimes some clothes might look funky that might not be your type, or sometimes you look at someone and go, what the fuck is they wearing? But the thing is, the moral of the story is, be you and do what you gotta do, but there's a bigger moral as well, you see. Through all the hands of that orange sombrero might have uh, traveled through and worn and went to here, there, and this, that, and the next thing, remember, it was purchased at the Salvation Army, and they can do with your help right now, especially this time of year. So go down. If you don't want to buy anything, you can certainly drop a little itty bitty thing off. I'm going to go down there myself tomorrow with hopes that I might bump into my old friend Andy. When the bastards get you down, Tell them to eat shite and get off of your tits. Black Donnelly Media. And now to check in with the music side of our platforms, Black Donnelly Radio, that lives in mixed cloud. All of our Blackbird DJs with all different genres. Some announcer hosted, some just music, some podcasts. Blackbird singing instead of It's that day when it comes once a year everybody gets dressed up to celebrate that old tradition of Halloween. Although for these two some might say Halloween is every fucking day and we love it. To awesome Halloween mixes coming out for you. Coming back from a hiatus on return for his night of the year, the godfather himself Mr. Brent Chittenden delivering his 2022 Halloween howl, bringing you to the dark side. And our mix cloud number one mix cloud master, DJ Sadiq K has put together for you an essential mix for your Halloween, and in this alt vibes, a bit of a new unique one as he will be using stems for the very first time, in a mix to help you celebrate your Halloween. You can find both mixes on blackdonnellymedia.com or go to Black Donnelly Media Mixcloud. From all these bastards down here at the network, I'm Randy Mandy, wishing you a safe and happy Halloween. It is Black Donnelly Media.